guys, today I am filming my 365 days of samples finale for 2020. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you all the things that I used up and clutter in the month of December. I am also going to go category by category through all of the samples that I worked on this year to let you know how many I used up in each of those categories, which is exciting. This is the first time I've done that, I believe. And then at the end of the video, I wanted to share with you out of all the samples I tried this year, which ones would I actually purchase? I did do this video last year. I thought it was really fun, so I wanted to do it again. I will have that linked up in the cards. So let's just get started with the things that I used up, starting with hair care products. I did finish this Sephora hair conditioner. It did have a nice scent to it. It did a good job hydrating my hair. I was only able to get like one and a half, two uses out of this, which is not as much as I would like. This cost two or three dollars, I believe. I had just added this to my cart so that I had enough to get like a little freebie with a coupon code. So this was okay, but seems kind of like a waste of money. I would say just go with some like free shampoo, conditioner, foil packets instead of buying this. Then I finished the Dry Bar on the Rocks Clarifying Charcoal Shampoo. I do enjoy this. I think this does a nice job, but it's not incredible. I prefer something that's a little bit more scrubby, but this is nice because I do feel like it's cleansing, but it's not too stripping. Sometimes when I have used other products like this, it just makes my hair feel too stripped and weird so this is a good one if i get any more of these i would keep it and use it up but it's not something i would repurchase i also used up the living proof color care shampoo this is fine it has a nice scent it doesn't make my hair too greasy but it doesn't do anything special for me if i get any more of these i will pass them on because as you'll see in a video i'm filming next month i have a huge collection of mini shampoo and conditioners so i will continue to pass on duplicates I have of most of them. So yeah, it was fine. Nothing I'd repurchase. Then I just used up this System Professional Hydrate Mask. This is so good. This did a great job of deeply hydrating my hair. I paired it with a System Shampoo from another line. I'm still working on that one. And I really like the two of them together especially, but this is a great conditioner. This is something that I actually would purchase if it comes in a squeeze tube. I have a suspicion that it comes in a jar with a lid. If so, I would not purchase that. I just hate those type of conditioner products in that packaging. I find it just too cumbersome. So it depends on the packaging, but the product is really great. And if I get any more minis of this, I will keep it and use it up. It really deeply hydrated my hair. Really, really enjoyed that one. And then the last hair product, I'm surprised I'm finished with it already, but that's very exciting. This is the It's a 10 Potion 10 Miracle Styling Potion. Love the scent of this, did not weigh down my hair, helped it look a little smoother, be a little softer. I enjoy this. I would not repurchase it. I've tried a bunch of things from It's a 10 and the original leave-in treatment is still my favorite but if I get another one of these, I will use it up. So then on to skincare, I'm gonna start with a little foil sample. So I did use the Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Cleanser. I actually did really like this. It did have a bit of like a milky, creamy consistency, but I enjoyed it. I was only able to get one use out of this. I'd be happy to get a deluxe size of it to try it further, but from what I was able to try, not something that I would repurchase. Then I have the Drunk Elephant F Balm Electrolyte Water Facial Mask. And this is like an overnight mask. So it's basically like applying a thick layer of moisturizer. This was fine. Didn't see anything super special about this. The directions say to apply four to five pumps. So you're gonna go through this very quickly if that's how much you apply, I would assume. I do have a deluxe size sample of this that I'll be happy to try to develop even more opinions on this product, but not that special. Then I had the Tatcha Silk Peony Melting Eye Cream. I did not like this. It just had a very light scent, which is good, but the consistency of this was just like 
okay under my eyes. I didn't love it. I prefer more of like an eye balm or like an eye serum, something that's thinner, soaks in easy, and it has like a smooth finish just because I do have very oily under eyes and this just didn't do anything for me. If I get another foil sample, I'll pass it on. And the last one I have is the Summer Fridays Overtime Mask, which comes in this like pumpkin-y tan packaging. This was really nice. This is like an exfoliating mask and I did really enjoy it. Would it purchase it the full size? You guys know I'm terrible at masking, but I did enjoy this. And if I got another little sample, I would definitely use it up. Then for my deluxe sizes, I had like one use left of this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. And I've heard amazing things about this. It didn't do anything for me. It was super thin. It felt kind of like water. I had another mini of this and I'm gonna give it to my friend Jean because she loves this brand, but it didn't do anything for me. I do not get the hype whatsoever. Then I finished the Murad Vita C Glycolic Brightening Serum. I did enjoy the consistency of this. It was lightweight on the skin. Didn't notice anything super special about it. If I got another of these, I would use it up, but I don't love it enough to repurchase. Then I finished the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. I was down here at the last update. This is a product that I enjoy. I will definitely continue to use these up whenever I get them. Wouldn't repurchase it. I don't really notice any significant effects from it. Then I finished the Purity Made Simple Moisturizer from Philosophy. This is a fine lightweight moisturizer. Depending on how many other moisturizers I had in my collection, I might use this up if I got another, but it's also something that would be easy for me to pass on. Then I had the Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. I don't love the scent of this, it's just okay. This is like a thin jelly type consistency. It's a good moisturizer for oily skin because it gives you the proper amount, but it's not special. I don't like it. I prefer the Belief Aqua Bomb over this one, so I would not repurchase. I would use it up if I got another though. And then I did finish my eye cream. This is a mini Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. I was down here at my last update. This is a really good eye cream. I have several others I prefer over it, but this is something, out of all the eye creams I love, this is the one that I do get in free gifts from also sometimes, so I will use it up if I get it again, but it's not something that I would repurchase anymore. So then for products that I am decluttering, there are three that I don't have with me because I've already passed them on, but I did take a picture of them. The first was the Philosophy Clear Days Ahead Salicylic Acid Cleanser. It just did nothing for me and I tend to really enjoy more acne skin cleansers and didn't do a thing. I will put up a picture of where I was before I decluttered it. I did use a good amount, but there's still plenty left in there for the next person to try out. But no, Philosophy Purity Cleanser, I enjoy way more than that one. And then for the other skincare products that I'm getting rid of, I have another Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. This actually smells a little bit. It has gone bad. I have had this many in my collection for about a year and these are only supposed to be good for six months. So I'm going to throw it away. Then I had this little sample of the Dr. Zenovia Advanced Retinol Night Repair Treatment. And this is supposed to diminish the appearance of acne and scarring. I hated this. It has a funny smell, but the texture of this is like melted down fudge. And it says to apply it in circular motions and you definitely need to because when you just like put it on like this, it feels disgusting. But as you're rubbing in circular motions, it does blend to the skin a little bit better. And then when I put my moisturizer on top, like my skin felt good, but I just cannot get over the texture of that product. So this is going in the trash. Then I have the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Berry Air Cream and this smells to me like it expired as well. And 
it looks very whipped. You might not be able to see. I don't know if it's supposed to look or smell like this, but I'm gonna throw it away. It's not worth it to me. And then I'm going to be giving away this Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing and Dark Circle Diminishing Vitamin C Eye Serum. I do not like the consistency of this. It doesn't really feel like a serum. It's like very smooth but it doesn't feel like a serum. It's it's a very weird consistency that I don't love under my eyes. It almost feels sort of primer-ish. I, I don't know, I don't like it. So that is going. And then for the hair products, so there were two that I had passed on that I don't have here to share with you today, and that would be the Pravana Intense Therapy Cleanse Shampoo and Treat Conditioner. And I just gave away that system because the shampoo made my roots too greasy and the conditioner did not deeply hydrate my hair enough. So on they went and those are really nice sizes, but didn't work for me. Then I was looking at my mini hair product collection and I wanted to get rid of some of the texturizing products because I never ever use them. So this first one is going in the trash because it's very, very old. This is the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play Volumizing and Texturizing Powder. I have used this before and it's okay. Don't notice a major difference from it, but like I said, I just don't use texturizers very often. So that's going in the trash and the rest of these are brand new. So that would be the Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play Harder Volumizing Hairspray. The Big Sexy Hair Root Pump Volumizing Spray Mousse. Dry Bar Triple Sec 3-in-1 Finishing Spray. And the Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Dry Spun Texture Spray. I actually had two of these, so I kept one and I'm going to be giving away the other. Then I did have three random empties this month. The first one I actually just finished today. This is a surprise and this has been going for years. I remember that I actually got this as a gift from my friend when she got married and I was in her wedding. This is just a 1.5 ounce bottle of the Tresemme hairspray. The Tray 2 hairspray hold number four. You guys have probably heard Emily Noel rave about this forever. Really good hairspray, I like the scent. It is a little bit sticky, but it does help hold your hair. Not something that I would repurchase. I don't use hairspray very often, and I have a couple others in my collection. I did use up the Equate Nail Polish Remover 100% Acetone. I just get these little six fluid ounce bottle sizes, and this is only a dollar at Walmart. Does a great job. It might dry out my nails a little bit. I don't mind. I just like this because it does remove my nail polish easier than others. And the last thing that I have as an empty would be my makeup sponge. I can't even tell you how long I've been using this. I really have no idea, but of course, I haven't been putting on makeup as much throughout the months. So it's been lasting longer. This is a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I love this. I do have some others in my collection. I just try to throw out my sponge every three to four months. And I love the shape of this so much. I will use this side for foundation, this pointed side for concealer. And right now I was using the back side to apply the Anastasia eye primer because it has a little bit of color, but I also like using the back side of this to apply a loose powder either to set my face or under my eyes. And I love because of the shape that I'm able to use the same sponge for three steps every single day. Love the texture of this, my favorite sponge ever. I will continue to repurchase this. So those are all of the things that I used up or decluttered in the month of December. I was surprised that I was able to get through so many things, especially because I did film November's update a little bit late, but very happy with that. So now I'm going to go through and give you my totals for the year. Super excited about this. So I have got hair, skin, and body products on here as well as my declutters. I've also broken down the hair, skin, and body into foil sample, deluxe sample, and full size. So for the hair products, for foil samples, I used up 53 and these were basically all shampoo and conditioner packets. I did include the shampoo and conditioner as two separate samples, so that's why I have so many. For deluxe size hair products, that would be 41. Full size, five. And I'm sure that's like a shampoo, a conditioner, and three dry shampoos. 
Then for skincare products, for the foil samples, I used up 56, which I didn't even know I had that many. For deluxe size skincare products, I used up 82, which is a lot. For full size skincare products, I used up five. And then for makeup wipes, I used up 13. Most of these were the Neutrogena wipes, but then I had a few of the Ulta travel pack of wipes that I was using for swatches. Then for body products, I combined foil samples and little perfume samples and I used up 14. For deluxe size body products, I used up 10 and full size body products, I used up 14. And I believe for the full size, I just counted body wash, lotion, and sanitizer. I don't think that I included deodorant or nail polish remover. I don't think I included those. And then for declutters, I decluttered 61 products, which is insane. I cannot believe that, but I just have so many minis in my collection that I got in free gifts or Sephora plays from back in the day. And I have so many minis and my collection was out of control. So I'm definitely working on bringing those numbers down. So you guys will see coming from me very soon, a like sample and full size hair, skin and body products inventory. So I never filmed one last year, but I did go through and calculate the numbers. So I will let you know how my numbers have gone up or down over the past year as well. So I'm very excited about that. Hopefully you guys are too. So I worked through a ton of products this year. Minis or not, I still feel very, very accomplished in that. So in the last portion of this video, I am going to be sharing with you guys out of all the samples I tried this year, which ones would I actually purchase in the full size? Starting with hair, I have a surprising amount of products. And some of these things might be repeats from last year. And that's just cause I had more samples of them and I still loved them. Like I said, last year's video is gonna be linked in the cards for you guys. So starting with hair, the first product is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal Shampoo. I just had some foil samples of this and I actually have several more that I'm very excited to use. I've tried a couple other like scalp scrub type products and I find most of them very hard to work into my hair. Not this one because it is like a scrub mixed with the shampoo. So it's just easier to work in the hair and I really love that one so far. And next would be the Joyco Color Balance Purple Shampoo. I finished up a liter size earlier in the year and then I had a little mini of it as well. I love this one. I probably used it more than I needed to, but I have very, very oily roots and I feel like this shampoo worked so well with that. It didn't make my hair too dry, but it did not make me greasy whatsoever. Then I had tried the Dry Bar Blonde Ale Shampoo Conditioner. I really liked these as well. They did give a bit of a purple tint, not as much as the Joyco one did, but it also did not make my hair feel too greasy, which is great because a lot of shampoos do that for me. And I love the way that it smelled. And I do have, I think like one or two deluxe size sets of this that I'll be very excited to use more. Then I have the Bosley Revive Shampoo and Conditioner for color treated hair. I used up some foil samples of it, but I think earlier this year during an Ulta hair event, I bought the like jumbo sizes of that shampoo and conditioner. I love the shampoo because it really does stimulate your scalp, which just feels amazing. And this also is not too oily for my hair. And the conditioner is nice and hydrating as well. And the next item is one that I talked about today. That would be the System Hydrate Hair Mask. I just use it like a deep conditioner and it did a fantastic job. And the only reason I would not buy this would be if it comes in a tub. I just prefer squeeze tubes for the shower because you can get like a thick product to come out of a squeeze tube. So I just have to look into that and see what the packaging looks like. But I really, really enjoyed it. Next, I have the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. I used up several minis and I've got some full sizes of this as well. Holy grail, number one dry shampoo. The scent is very strong. It took me a little bit to get used to, but I really enjoy it. Soaks up all the oil in my hair, gives lots of volume and actually makes my hair look fresher. Where other dry shampoos do those 
things, but not to the extent that the dry bar does. So that's my number one. I was also able to try the clear detox dry shampoo and that one was really good as well. The scent was a little bit different, but still really nice. And this was clear. The original does have a bit of a white cast. It works for my hair just fine, but it's really nice that they have that clear option. And I think it worked really just as well, but I probably would still go with the original, but both of them are fantastic. If I get any more minis, I am keeping them to use them up and I would buy the original and the full size and I already have. Another dry shampoo that I really love that I tried this year would be the one from Frederick Fakai. And I was not able to find this on the Ulta website anymore. I'm not sure if the brand is no longer around or if they've rebranded because I see something called Just Fakai on the Ulta site, but I did not see any dry shampoo. So I'm gonna have to do some digging, but this works very well it also has a really nice scent and it does give some volume it really soaks up the oil in my hair the dry bar is a little bit better but this is fantastic as well i used to really love the chlorine dry shampoo and while that one is fine i think that frederick fakai and the dry bar blow it out of the water as far as like the oil absorbing capabilities and the scent as well. So both of those are really, really good products. And then I have two leave-in hair products. The first would be the Bumble and Bumble Hair Dresser Invisible Oil Primer. So they have several products in their hair dresser line. This is the primer, it's like a creamy product. I just use this as a leave-in. It has an amazing smell, great consistency. It does help to give my hair extra nourishment, make it smoother, easier to brush out. And then I have the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Styling Treatment. I have tried all of the different versions. Well, not all of them. I, I've got a couple others I need to try out, but I've tried the Keratin one. I've tried the one for blondes and the original. And the original is still my favorite. The little mini sizes last you a long time. You get a ton of products in there and it's a 10. It's a, at a great price originally, but it's on sale all the time. So definitely would say that those are like some of my favorite leave-in hair products. I also love one from Pureology, but I guess I didn't use any of those this year. So those are all of the hair products that I loved enough that I would actually consider purchasing them. Then for skincare products, the first would be the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. It does an amazing job of breaking down face and eye makeup. If I get some in my eye, yes, it'll be a little cloudy, but it comes out, but it doesn't burn my eyes, which is amazing. I really enjoy this product. Then would be the Flossy Purity Cleanser. I've mentioned this before. It's a very simple cleanser, but I love the scent and I love the way it makes my skin feel. I have a lot more cleansers to work through before I need to buy anything, but it is something that I would purchase. Then I had two face scrubs I really liked, and that would be the Clinique City Block Charcoal Scrub and Mask. I only use it as a scrub. And the Mario Badescu Botanical Exfoliating Scrub. I know scrubs aren't supposed to be great for you, but I really enjoy those. They actually make my skin feel very clean without it feeling like it's like tearing up my skin. Really recommend the both of those. The Mario Badescu almost feels like a little more sugary and the Clinique is a little bit more sandy. And next would be the Pixi Glow Tonic. This is my favorite toner. I have used up uh, several different sizes of this and luckily Pixi sends it out all the time. I've tried several toners and I've tried to try some different ones in between using up the Glow Tonic and the Glow Tonic is just my favorite. I also tried some of the other tonics from Pixi and I don't like any of them near as well as the original. And next would be my Holy Grail moisturizers, which would be the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm for the daytime and the Moisturizing Balm for the nighttime. Now I'm not too picky about nighttime moisturizers. I just want them to be very hydrating, but this one does not feel too heavy or slimy or goopy on the skin. It's incredible. And the Aqua Balm is the best, very hydrating moisturizer for oily skin for the daytime. I would absolutely buy both of those in the full size. I've been fortunate to get several little minis that have lasted me a while. They're so good. And another moisturizer that I really did not expect to like, but really enjoy would be the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. And this is something that is also really good for nighttime. It is very hydrating, but it doesn't feel too heavy or too greasy. Really good product. Then surprisingly, I really enjoyed an oil, which 
I hate the consistency of oils. I don't like putting them on my hands or my face, but I really liked this one. And this is the First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Cannabis and Oat Dry Oil. And it's definitely something I want to get another mini of to try again because I had been using oils in place of a serum, but then thanks to skincare TikTok, I realized you actually do like serum, moisturizer, then oil on top. So I would love to try this again, but it was really, really good. I loved how smooth it made my skin feel. Then there were three eye creams that I tried and loved. The first was the Clinique Smart Custom Repair Eye Treatment. The Drunk Elephant Sea Tango Eye Cream and the Kate Somerville Retinol Firming Eye Cream. These are all very expensive, but I love them all. I'd say equally because they have a nice thin consistency that's a little bit more serum-y or balmy, which is really what I love under my eye because it feels nice and smooth. And I do have pretty oily under eyes, so I don't want anything too thick. I do also get milia bumps pretty easily. So the more lightweight serum -y products work best for me, but I don't like anything that's too greasy and the consistency of all of those is perfect. And then I only have one body product and that would be a perfume sample. And that would be Dior Joy Perfume. This is something that has a really nice sweet scent. It's pretty intense, but it does have a bit of a baby powder undertone, which is the one thing really holding me back from buying this and unfortunately they don't have a rollerball size of this because that would be perfect for me the one ounce is a little bit too much for me to commit to because it's very expensive and now that it's been out for i think maybe about two years i was hoping they would come up with a rollerball for this holiday season and i did not see one at least not on its own i tried the dior joy intense i do not like that at all just the original I have a little baby bottle I got as a 250 point perk from Sephora. And if I get any more little samples, I will definitely use them up. I just need to get like a rollerball size of it so I can really see what I think about it because I've gone back and forth, but I usually know right away whether I like a perfume or not. I have a very small perfume collection and I've tried like a gazillion perfume samples and I end up passing them on because I'm very picky about perfume. So for me to be this interested in this one it means i really like it and i'll have the notes listed for you guys as well so i know this was a really long video thank you if you stuck through it but i would love to know your thoughts on the sample products that i mentioned here today what samples have you tried this year that you fell in love with and that you already have purchased them in the full size or you would consider doing so and I will definitely be doing this sample project pan next year as well. I will continue doing this until I run out of mini products, which won't be anytime soon, unfortunately. But you guys will see my intro coming very soon. So I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.